Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about how to read the scale of a spectrometer. So basically a spectrometer is used in many of the optical lab experiments. The most important part of this experiment is always reading of this scale. At a closer look, this scale looks like this. So here we are going to read such scales. but for better clarity, we are going to use graphic rather than the original spectrometer. Here in this figure, you can see a small part of the complete circular main scale and there is a vernier scale. The only formula to read such kind of vernier systems is this one. Final reading is equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into least count. You have also studied this formula to read a vernier calipers. We can break this in four steps. So in the step one, find the least count of the system. Step two, find the main scale reading. Step three, find vernier scale reading. And step four, apply the formula. That's it. So in this way, you can read any measurement on this scale. Let's start with step one. We want to calculate the least count of this system. The formula to calculate the least count of a vernier system is least count of main scale minus least count of vernier scale. So first of all, we are going to calculate the least count of main scale. As you can see on the main scale between 280 to 290 degree angle, there are 20 points in between. After 280, there is a big line representing 281 and in between them there is a smaller mark representing 280.5 degree. So we can say 20 marks cover 10 degree or 10 into 60 minute. By unitary method we can say 1 mark covers half degree which is equal to 30 minutes. So finally the least count of main scale is 30 minutes. After that, we need the least count of verniers. In case of vernier scale, there are 0 to 30. There are 30 marks. But what angle they cover on the main scale? In this figure, from 0 to 30 marks, it covers from 280 to 294.5. So in this way, we can say 30 marks cover 14.5 degree according to unitary method one mark will cover 14.5 divided by 30 degree or similarly after some calculation it is 29 minutes. So now we have calculated the least count of vernier scale which is 29 minutes. The least count of the system is the least count of main scale minus least count of vernier scale which is 30 minutes minus 29 minutes is equal to 1 minute. You can also solve this expression in degree but there is some problem of irrational numbers. So we are handling this in terms of minutes. Okay, now step two, note down the main scale reading. So what is the main scale reading? The main scale reading is a minimum reading that has been crossed by the zero of vernier scale. So now let us read a random measurement in this system. This is the zero of vernier scale. It has crossed 278.5 degree. I can also say it 278 degree and 30 minutes. So this is the main scale reading. Now step 3 note down the vernier scale reading. Now we need to check out which vernier scale mark is coinciding with any of the main scale mark. As you can see the 10th mark of vernier scale is exactly matching with the mark of the main scale. So your vernier scale reading is 10. Now step 4 apply the formula. So the final reading is equal to main scale reading which is 278 degree 30 minutes, vernier scale reading which is 10, least count which is 1 minute and you will get 278 degree 30 minute plus 10 minute. So overall this is 278 degree 40 minutes. Isn't it simple? So in a nutshell, just follow these four steps and you 
can measure the reading of any spectrometer so step 1 find the least count step 2 find main scale reading step 3 find vernier scale reading and step 4 apply the formula thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel and give your suggestions for my further videos have a good day